I did always have this dream of being a scientist, even when I didn't really know what a scientist really was. I think it's knowing that no matter what I'm doing, there's always a great potential in uh, producing something that could have some meaningful impact and improvement in some aspect of one's life. So I'm Tom Sherritt, I'm an apprentice lab technician here at the University of Manchester, currently working at the Graphene Engineering Innovation Centre. So this institution is uh, made to sort of bridge the gap between sort of research and development and industry. There are some huge technical challenges um, to be achieved uh, throughout the, the transition to net zero. Academia has a role to play, whether it's in the discovery and development of new materials technologies, whether it's in the, the optimisation and the making of those, those technologies more efficient. In essence, graphene is a single layer of carbon atoms. So it's, it's what you would get if you peeled away one layer of a piece of graphite. Graphene is an incredibly exciting material, uh, mainly because of the extraordinary properties that it has. It's very, very strong, it's very lightweight, it is electrically conductive and thermally conductive, and it's an almost impermeable barrier to most materials. We're just starting to see commercial applications of graphene now. So graphene could be used in electronic storage, it can be used in making the batteries and supercapacitors, helping with their, their electrodes. It could also be used in membranes and coatings. Uh, some examples include uh, concrete or concretine. So this is a very uh, interesting uh, location. This is Mayfield Depot, which is an old railway station next to Manchester Piccadilly Station. Now in the process of being redeveloped and is also an event space during its renovation. Concrete accounts for 8% of all global CO2 emissions and as a material is the second most widely used material in the world behind water. So we've got a fundamental problem to solve in terms of reducing embodied carbon with concrete. So this slab that we're stood on here today is very, very special indeed because it was the first use of graphene enhanced concrete, concretine, in a suspended or a mezzanine type slab in the world. So the benefit of using concretine in an application such as this is that we can significantly reduce CO2 and there's a number of ways that we've managed to achieve that. Number one, we've thinned the thickness of the concrete down. Number two, we've completely eliminated all of the reinforcement and joints. And number three, we've taken some of the cement out of the concrete which is responsible for 90% of the CO2 in concrete. It's really, really important that we, we think about using the minimum amount of materials possible in the product in order to reduce that initial footprint, that we think about the manufacturing processes in that product to minimise energy. I'm working with something like a concrete, which is a massive producer of CO2. So being able to create an alternative of that that could have a potential big impact in the future is definitely quite important.